Hello and welcome to Maya's Meadow part 14. In this part we're going to do border part 1 which is only two rounds so you'll be fine. Border round 1 is a little bit involved and you have to do all of your counting for border round 2 to make sure the rest of them work out. Border rounds 3 to 7 will be much more fun and easier. They will be part 15. Instructions and stitch counts are provided per short side which is the top and the bottom, the zigzaggy parts and long sides which are the straight parts down the sides of the blanket. Due to the shape of the blanket there will be a lot of words for the short side. I'm sorry. Depending on whether you are right or left handed you'll start in either one of the top corners of the blanket. There is a diagram on my website that shows you where you will need to start. So I'm going to start with border round one and I'm using colour P and the slip knot already on my hook and starting in the top right corner, the chain two corner space, top left if you're left handed with a standing stitch we're going to do two double crochet. Chain one and two double crochet. This is the first corner made and that is not part of the repeat for the short side. So this is where the repeat starts for the short side. We're going to skip the first hidden stitch, which is truly hidden, and we're going to double crochet in the next 49 stitches. Ten. Fifteen. Buddy, don't eat my yarn, please. Twenty five, and that one falls in the stitch after a front post double crochet. That's 30 stitches. Fourteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That will bring us to the next corner space. Into that corner space we are going to make two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. We'll skip the first hidden stitch and double crochet in the next 49 stitches. So that's 
that's the hidden stitch it's not so hidden there and double crochet in the next 49 10 That's 20 24 will fall in that front post double crochet. This will bring us back to a corner space again. We will double crochet in the next chain two space. Then we will make a double crochet in the next HTC of joining row one, which is there. It'll be a big hole. It will contain a joining single crochet and that. Is that double crochet made? Then we will double crochet in the next half double crochet of the joining row. And then we're going to make a double crochet two together working into the same last HDC and uh, the next chain two space. So double crochet two together and into that chain two space and that's just to make sure there's no hole there in there oh so now we're going to work into the first small motif we're going to skip the first hidden stitch and double crochet in the next 16 stitches so skip the first stitch double crochet in the next 16 stitches And 16. Into the chain two corner space, we're going to make two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets.
I'm going to skip the first hidden stitch and double crochet in the next 16 stitches. Fifteen and sixteen. That brings us back to the chain two corner space. Into that chain two corner space, we're going to make a double crochet. Then we're going to make a double crochet into the half double crochet of the joining round, and a double crochet in the next half double crochet of the joining round. And then we're going to double crochet two together, working into the same stitch of the joining round and the next chain two corner space and that again just closes that hole a little bit now we're going to start the whole repeat again we are going to skip the first hidden stitch which is there and double crochet in the next 49 stitches I don't have a lot of space here, so it's really tricky to keep this on my desk and pull my yarn. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen, twenty, Fourth one will fall in the front post DC and twenty five. Thirteen. And fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To that chain two corner space we're gonna do oh come on sorry into that chain two corner space we're gonna do two double crochets chain one and two double crochets Skip the first hidden stitch, double crochet in the next 49 stitches. Fifteen. 
Okay. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three and twenty-four will fall in that front post double crochet. Twenty-five. Forty five. Forty-nine. That brings us to the chain two corner space again. Double crochet into the chain two corner space. Double crochet into the next joining HTC. Double crochet into the next joining HTC. Make a double crochet two together into the next joining HTC and the next chain two corner space. Skip the first hidden stitch, double crochet in the next 16 stitches. Eight falls into that front post single crochet. the chain two corner space we're going to do two double crochet chain one and two double crochet oh man this is getting heavy on my lap skip the first hidden stitch Double crochet in the next 16 stitches. Eight's gonna fall in that front post single. Ten made, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
and 16 brings us to the next chain two corner space. Into the chain two corner space, make a double crochet. Into the joining HDC, make a double crochet. Into the next joining HDC, make a double crochet. And then double crochet two together, working into that same last joining HDC and the next chain two corner space. Oh, we're almost done with the short side. I've got to work away that end. That's not very tidy. Oh, okay. Skip the first hidden stitch. And double crochet in the next 49 stitches. That's five. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. And twenty-four should fall in that front post double crochet. Twenty-five. Thirteen, thirty five. Fourteen. and nine. Into the chain two corner space, we are going to make two double crochets. Chain one and two double crochets. Skip the first hidden stitch, double crochet in the next 49 stitches. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. 
19, 23, and 24 will fall in that front post double crochet. 25. Thirty five. Fourteen. Forty-five. Let me just take a quick breather. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. And forty-nine into the chain two corner space we are going to make two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets and this is the end of the short side that will bring you to the long side which is just st straight all the way with some kinky bits now we're on to the long side of border round one. We're going to skip the first hidden stitch and double crochet in the next 49 stitches. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 23 and 24 will be in that front and that double crochet front post double crochet 25 30. Fourteen. Forty six, forty seven, forty eight, and forty nine. That will bring us to the chain two corner space. Into that chain two corner space, we're going to make a double crochet, and then this is where the repeat will start. 
and you will do that two times in total. So we're going to do two double crochet in the second half double crochet of joining row one. Two double crochet in the ha last half double crochet of joining row one. Half double crochet in the next chain two space. Now be mindful it's a half double crochet in that next chain two space, not a double crochet. We're going to skip the first hidden stitch and single crochet in the next 10 stitches. And this is to account for the fact that the leaf is slightly curved. Skip the first stitch, single crochet in the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to half double crochet in the next thirty stitches. One, two, three, four, five. nine and ten I can fall off my lap one two three four five six seven Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Double crochet in the next fifty five stitches, and the second one should fall in this front post double crochet. So double crocheting in the next 55 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Twenty five. Thirty also in a front post double crochet. Thirty-five. 
14. Fifteen, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three. 54 and 55. We're going to do, what are we going to do? We're going to double crochet in the next chain two space. Yep, so that is the repeat done. So I'm going to put in the timeline, I'll, timeline I'll put a little link to where you need to skip back to if you want to see the repeat again for working into this next motif and then I will meet you back where I've worked into this second motif or the third motif and I'm about to work into the last motif. Now that we've done that second repeat we're on to the last motif on the long side and we are going to do make two double crochets in the second HCC of joining row one and then two double crochets in the last HDC of joining row one. We're going to make a half double crochet in the next chain two corner space. Skip the first hidden stitch and single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10. Half double crochet in the next 30 stitches. Fifteen. Twenty. And 30. Double crochet in the next 55 stitches. The second one will be a front post double crochet. Twenty-five. 
30 in that front post double crochet. Fourteen, forty five. One, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, and fifty five. Into the chain two corner space, we're going to make two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets, and that finishes off our long side. You will need to repeat the entire short side, long side sequence again so that you've worked around all four sides. Remembering that when you finish the last long side, this corner will have already been made before we started the short side. So you're just going to omit that from the pattern and join to that first stitch of the corner with a slip stitch. Right, on to border round two. Now we move on to border round two. Please note that the pointy bits at the top of the blanket will be made differently to the four main corners of the blanket. So to start round two, we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and in the chain corner space. Chain two, which will count as half double crochet and then into that same corner, half double crochet, chain one and two half double crochets. So that will be your first corner made. Then we're going to half double crochet in the next 53 stitches. You won't be skipping any stitches along the sides. So the first one will be hidden. There. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Forty-five, fifty. 
15, 51, 52 and 53. So that will bring us to the next chain corner space. You will notice that my cherry flower has magically turned purple and that's because I only have half the blanket to demonstrate on because I cut half the border off in order to demonstrate the border. So this will bring us to this corner and we're going to do one half double crochet, chain one and one half double crochet into that corner space. And this starts the repeat that we will do twice in total. Now remember that these corners are different from the initial corners that had two half doubles, chain one, two half doubles. Half double crochet in the next 51 stitches. You're essentially working into all the stitches, not skipping any. One, two, three, four, five. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Fourteen. Forty-five. Six. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. 15 and 51. Now we're going to make two decreases. We're going to half double crochet two together twice. The last leg of the last stitch should fall in the top of that double crochet two together. So over the next two stitches, half double crochet two together and over the next two stitches half double crochet two together and all your half double crochet two together is in this little valley the last leg of that second one should always fall in the top of a DC two together from the previous round half double crochet in the next 18 stitches one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, and 18. Into that corner space, we're going to do half double crochet, chain one half double crochet. We're 
working into the next 18 stitches, half double crochet in each, including that first stitch. It's five. Sorry, the blanket wants to fall down. Rejig. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. And eighteen. Half doubles crochet two together twice. And that last leg again falls in the top of the double crochet two together. Half double crochet in the next 51 stitches. Ten, twenty. Fourteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen, and fifty-one. So that will bring us back to the corner. And this is where we will do this whole repeat again and I will put a timestamp to where you need to go back to if you want to see that again. So I'm going to continue doing this and then I'll meet you back up when we get to the last pointy corner of the blanket. I've made my way to the last pointy corner at the top and into that corner I'm going to do a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. And then we're going to start working down this last slope before we get to the long side. Half double crochet in the next 53 stitches. Fifteen. Twenty. 
20. Thirteen. Thirty-five. Fifteen, fifty-one, fifty-two, and fifty-three. That brings us to the corner at the end of the short side, and into that corner we're going to make two half double crochets, so not one, two, chain one, and two more half double crochets. And then we're going to start on the long side. Ooh, you're going to need to take a breath before you start on the long side. We're going to half double crochet in the next 356 stitches. Remember that that first one will be hidden. So I will demonstrate the first 10 or so. Although I'm sure you know how to make half doubles. And then I'm going to skip right to the end. And show you the corner. That's five. Eight. Nine. Ten. Um, I strongly suggest that you use stitch markers every 100 stitches or so or alternatively counting tens all the way in tens and then make sure that you have six stitches left before the next corner space instead of counting to 356 if that makes sense. Fifty. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches left. Oh, thank God. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and 56. Which brings me to the end of the very, very long, long side. So into that corner, we are going to do two half double crochet, chain one and two half double crochet, because this is a, an actual corner of the blanket, not a pointy bit top and bottom. And that's the end of the long side. So you will need to repeat all of the short side again, all of the long side, omitting this last corner because you already have made that at the start before you started the repeat and you will join to the first stitch which would be a top of a chain two with a slip stitch and that will be a border part one all done and then next week we will move on to border part two which is the last five rounds let me check three four five six seven yes the last five rounds 
of the border and then we are all done check your stitch count very carefully at the end of round two because it needs to be correct for the rest of the repeats to work out and the rest of the repeats will be much easier to keep track of than this one thank you very much for watching see you next week Bye bye